So if you've been looking for a video on how to make a cheap solar panel out of uh, solar cells you can find on eBay, this is the video for you. So I'm going to show you what I did. And uh, I purchased some broken solar cells. These were tabbed solar cells, which means that they have the tabbing wire on them still. You know, that the wires that you see on top of the solar cells, that's tabbing wire. And I got these from ML Solar. They cost about 30 bucks. And when I received them, there were about uh, 39 cells. And I'd say about half of them were whole, and then the other half had uh, various pieces broken off or broken in the center. Um, so uh, there are lots of videos on how to solder these together, so I'm not going to go over that. Um, but uh, my main pre question was, how do I mount these into some kind of solar panel that doesn't cost a fortune? Because really I wanted to make a very inexpensive solar panel, didn't want to spend that much more than what my solar cells cost. So um, what I've used here is a, a picture frame. I just had a, an old picture frame that I had picked up from a, a thrift store. I think it may have cost me about 20 bucks or something. So I just took that down and I... Uh, took the uh, cardboard backing and I painted it uh, to make it waterproof and um, that's really all I did because after looking at all the options of how to encapsulate your solar cells you know some people use epoxy or EVP and all these options are extremely expensive um, I decided I would just do the cheapest easiest thing which is to take a regular picture frame uh, waterproof the back and uh, then just mount my solar cells on here using packing tape. And so that's pretty much all I did. I mounted the, the solar cells here fairly loosely on packing tape and then I strung them together. And I think the advantage uh, with this for a hobbyist panel is that if something breaks, well, you can just take it apart and put it back together again and uh, it'll be no, no problem. Whereas if you actually uh, do some of these sealant type uh, encapsulations, uh, if, if something breaks, there's just nothing you can do about it. It's all glued together. But this, I can take it apart, put it back together again. And uh, so I, I, all I did was I just used some packing tape uh, to wrap around the edge here, really. That's really all I did um, to seal it up. And it seems to have uh, done a decent job of keeping the water out so far. It's been out in the weather here in the Pacific Northwest for about two months, uh, almost constant rain. And uh, I don't think that I see any uh, moisture problems, typically condensation would be a problem with a kind of panel like this. So I think that that did all well for a uh, do-it-yourself uh, 30 buck panel. And uh, I measured about uh, about three and a half amps, around 20 volts, um, out of this panel. So it's probably, I estimate it's probably about a 60 watt panel, which isn't bad. Um, when you use the regular picture glass here, you do lose about 15 percent of your power. Um, but uh, that's it's, it's what you get for a $30 panel. And um, so the other question is, what do you do with this, uh, this panel here, the 60 watt solar panel? So um, what I did is that I tried to find an application for it. And uh, so what I've done is I've made this into basically a very large garden solar light. So what I have here is I purchased a solar charge controller. And this is about 18 bucks on eBay. And what this does is that this uh, charges your battery. And I've just got a used car battery it had lying around. And um, this charges your battery, but it also sends power to a, a small light. And you can say how long it stays on for. So you can say like 5 hours or 10 hours, um, it'll stay on. So it, it essentially makes this into a very large garden light. And then I have my light over here, which, is, which I've actually switched out to an LED light. So it only uses about half a watt. So um, I can have a little bit of light out here during the nighttime. And later on I may hook it up to um, some of my other garden lights I have around here. But uh, that was all to it. So for about 30 bucks in the, for, the, for the solar panel itself. You can see this is the back here. It's just, it's just painted here. And uh, about 18 bucks for the solar charger. I can have a fun little backup power system here.